Welcome to Math We Know. We're given x and y are positive integers, and we're also given that x then plus x times y then plus y is equal to 54. Then we have to solve the value of x then plus y. Because we're given an equation of x and y, so I'm going to try to factor it. Because x and y, they're both positive integers, and it makes this problem much easier. I want to factor it. How should we do? This term is x, and this term is x times y. They have the same factor there, that is x. So, I can take out x from the left hand side. And here, x divided by x is 1. And here, x times y, then divided by x, it is y. But now, we are sad, because here, there is a y left on the left hand side. And the right hand side is just an integer, 54. It's not a good looking number, is it? Because I want to factor in the left hand side, Definitely. But now, I think we cannot. But we can try. If we want to find the factor, if we want to take out something, and we have to take out 1 plus y, when we can continue factoring it. But now, here is just a y left. So now, I'm going to add a 1 on the left hand side and also on the right hand side. 54 then plus 1 is 55. Mm, I think this number is very good. It's a good looking number, isn't it? So now, 1 plus y, y plus 1, take it out, then you have good luck. X plus 1, and then times y plus 1. It is 55. We have to have a look at this problem again. The knowing. It says x and y are positive integers. So, because x and y are both positive integers, then I can get x and y. They are integers, and they both, they are both greater or equal to y. Because x and y are positive integers, so x plus 1 and then y plus 1, they are also positive integers, aren't they? Now we find the factor of 55. Because 55, it can be written as 1, then times 55 itself, 1 times itself and itself times 1. And then it can also it can be also written as eleven then times five and five then multiplies by eleven. There are four cases, but are they correct? From here, x and y they are both integers and they have to be they both have to be greater or equal to one. And then x plus y. It is also an integer, and it has to be greater or equal to 2. y plus 1, the same case. So 1 times 55, cancel. 55, then times 1, delete. There are only two cases left. So I think this problem is quite easy, isn't it? Now, 11 times 5. 5 then times 11. There are two cases. The first case, x plus 1. It is 11. y plus 1. It is 5. The second case, x then plus 1. It is 5. And y then plus 1. It is 11. From these two cases, we can get the value of x then plus y. We can solve the x from these two cases, but I think um, we don't have to do it. There are two cases, and we have to solve 
the x and y. Now I have one over y. x then plus y. We know the value of x then plus 1 and y then plus 1. So it can be written as x then plus 1 and then plus y plus 1 and minus 2. Did you get it? Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe me, ring the bell, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.